Hello baby dolls, you've joined me again. I'm going to use Metcalf's law to show you that the fair value of hex is about 12 cents. And why I like doing it on hex is because there's information about it. You know, everyone asks me, why do you talk about hex? Why do you talk about hex? Hello, go find me communities who have free donated generous websites like this by Gerardo look into hex which actually gives me this information go and find them to me and tell them to me I want to see the holders and the growth and all this cute stuff who's actually using the stuff I want to know because you'll find in most crypto no one fucking cares no one's using them man you're there to speculate people see a word in the media gaming all right let me go buy a gaming coin <laughs> no one actually wants to go play the game People see a word, metaverse, okay, let me go buy the metaverse coin. People go see a word, layer two, okay, let me go buy a layer two coin. That's not crypto, man. That is car crash, short-term attention span, retail pump and dump, garbage thinking. That's not going to find you deep value stuff. Now, a lot of people joke and they go, oh, but Hex is just staking your stuff over and over. Yeah, I don't care, man. I don't care. I know there's, look at this, look at this number here. I know there are... 117,000 people who go to the website and click a button. They see the Hex logo. They go to go.hex.com forward slash stake. They go and get the yield. They check it every day. I know they do this. I can verify this. With all this other mumbo jumbo junk, you can't tell me everyone's using that, man. No one cares. And sadly, everyone's using Uniswap, but it's a governance token, right? So crypto, man, it's, it's wafer thin when you look underneath the surface for a lot of the fluff. But the stuff that's there, it's great. So hex, 12 cents. Where I get this fair value from? So if you look at the very, very start, we can't see the exact day one numbers, but it was about 5,000, right? Just say 5,000 people. About 5,000 people started in the hex, okay? And today it's about hex, current stakers, 120,000 roughly. All right, current stakers. So all you got to do is, right, using Metcalf's law, you got 120,000 divided by 5,000, you got 24, okay? You got, you basically increased your user base from the start to today. In three years, you, you, you grew 24x. Now, Metcalf's law, you just got to square it, right? Because it's a network. This is how we value crypto. Nothing to do with P.E. ratio, nothing to do with earnings, none of that works. Take your boomer stuff out. Everything's a Ponzi and everything's a scam. Stocks don't need to move the way they do, but the people who buy stocks, they look at the balance sheet and all this stuff. So you've, if you want to go be successful in stocks, you have to get inside the heads of people who are buying an electricity company versus Tesla. You have to know the difference between the people and the memes and the P.E. ratios and stuff. But we don't do that in crypto. It's a whole new field of people. We are degenerates. We don't go off that. We go off a network. You know who else goes off the network? Amazon. Didn't make money for like 20 years. Still went up. Apple's a network as well. Let's do this number. 576x. So remember, we went from 5,000 people to 120,000 people. This is not an exact science. And you're going to see why. Right? So you've got 24 times your user base. About 576x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to day one hex, Uniswap listing. You had 5,000 people here, right? And if you just go up about four to 500x, here you go. You get about 11 to 12 cents right here. You see this? When you look at this number, remember, remove the last two digits to get your x's. You remove nine and seven, you're left with 524x around there. And that price is about 12 cents. So here we go. That is about fair value for Hex. So obviously a lot of people have been contacting me because I made my PulseX video when I have, you know, 49X target and people are like, no, I want 1,000X. We can get that, man. It just depends. Tell me how far we grow in terms of users and I'll tell you the number we land at. <laughs> That's all it is. I'm, I, if we grow 10X people, you're going to get a 100X price increase. If you grow 3x people, you're only going to get 9. So yeah, it's a function of two things. How big you start and how fast your growth is. And sometimes, doesn't matter what you do, your growth is going to slow down eventually. right? So for hex here, if you put 4500x, the price is about 12 cents. And you're like, well, 
The difference is we're two and a half cents. What gives? Well, that's the thing, man. No one in crypto knows what they're doing. This is not an exact science. This is maybe this is some God hand moving us when we shouldn't have. This is people doing wet random things. It's not an exact science, man. It's just, it's I swear, it's just like that. Look at the wave, man. The wave of euphoria, the wave of depression. We should just be here in the first place, right? So if you just draw this line, maybe that's what we should be, man. We should be at 12 cents. But like I say, in, in not just in crypto, in all markets. Markets work in cycles. They don't work the same as relationships. So relationships, you don't have equity. So if, if you do 10 good things for your partner and you go, hey, I've done... T I've cooked you 10 good meals and I'm taking you out. Now I'm going to cheat on you just once. So now I'm left with a surplus of nine. No, it doesn't work like that, right? <laughs> it doesn't work like that. In markets, it does work like that. Markets go, yeah, if I'm going to get you super euphoric up here, I'm sorry, but you are going to want to kill yourself, okay? And on the opposite side, because you want to kill yourself, I'm going to get you euphoric again. We work in cycles in markets, right? That's why we can keep coming back to this thing. If we worked like relationships, we would all be poor and we're all going to zero, all right? So, Hex's fair value is around here, right? By the way, fair just means based off today. Markets are forward looking, okay? So, you know, I'm not saying we're gonna go to 12 cents and stop. I'm just saying that's where the fair value is. It should be in this zone based off everything. So yes, we are on the price. Woo! So you can do this little short-term trade. None of us care, right? I don't care about this short-term stuff because I know we're growing. The number of users is growing. Look at this line, all right? This line is growing up, right? At day 500, you had 28,000 people. At day 1,000, you had 100,000 people. 4X. Wouldn't that be nice if we 4 x again, right? Wouldn't that be nice? If fair value is around 12 cents, you get like another four, five X to 50 cents. That would be your fair value, by the way. That would be your fair value. That doesn't mean, does not mean that you stop there. It just means that's where like fair value is. You can disconnect hard, man. So look at this, imagine telling someone, by the way, let's look at this example again, all right? So based off today, based off only today, fair value is 12 cents, right? At some point, if you go back in time, Maybe, you know, because we're growing, right? Maybe the fair value was meant to be, let's say down here, maybe we're meant to be like four or five cents, right? So when you go back in time, you don't know how far we're going to grow here. So ignore this rectangle. We're just going to zoom in. So look at this, man. Like, I know it looks like a log chart. It's great, but let's put it on a... So look, we hit fair value. Look at this. Like, yay, we hit fair value. Imagine you're like, okay, this is where we should be five cents. And look what the market did. So yeah, man, this is crypto. Markets are thin, you have euphoria, you have so much greed, overconfidence, then you have fear which make us shoot under. That's just how it is. We're just gonna have to get used to it. That's just, that's what makes it great, by the way. That what makes it great. Imagine Hex was 12 cents right now. I'd be pissed off. Imagine it just never went down. You would be, you think you'd be happy, but you wouldn't be able to buy any cheaper, man. You wouldn't be buying any cheaper. And by the way, if the market always stayed at fair value, you know, maybe, maybe we do grow 4x from here. Maybe we go from 100,000 to like 450,000 people. And then that brings our, um, let's do this number, from 12 cents, so four times 416. Wow, $1.92, wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great if we grew up again, right? If so, fair value is around 12 cents and you grew another four, times your user base, you might get a 16X on your price. That's why I got with this $1.92. So if you market here at $1.92, I know these numbers sound ridiculous, but it is, man, that's just how it grows, how it grows. People get sick of selling and they just wanna see number go up eventually. This is crazy, right? I know I don't like doing this super duper moon math, but look, if you know fair values around here, you, you gotta be thinking, all right, what happens if it go up? <laughs> I know. I know those numbers sound too big. Those numbers do sound too big, but this is how we go, right? And by the way, as well, we don't have to, we don't have to adjust straight away. We might, you, it is still possible. Hex stays at, you know, twenty to thirty cents, and you're going, man, it's worth a dollar ninety based off the user growth. But yeah, what if the market makes you wait another full cycle? You get your dollar ninety two in like twenty twenty eight. That's possible. Anything is possible in this. You've heard that saying. Marcus can say ir irrational way longer than you can stay solvent, right? 
way longer. But at least you've got an idea how we get these measurements, what happens, user base, grow, user base is growing, and that's it, right? Show me these other coins that you do this. I'd, I'd love to know that. I want to see them. I'm going to go look at Masari, look at his other stuff, but I know it's all a load of, load of junk, okay? So, we've got PulseX here. This is how I derived everything. My Pulse X target, right, at 49X based off just hitting 1 million people, right? We have starting 140,000. So if you tell me, hey, I think we can grow from 140,000 to 1.4 million, 10X people, then surprise, surprise, there you go. You probably get your 100X price. And just to show you what happened in the past, right? Just to show you, right, so hex hit, it's, here we go, hex, let's put on a linear chart. So hex hit 20 cents here. If you do Metcalf's law, it was about where it should have been here, based off the growth, roughly, right, all down here, but look what it still, it still popped hard. So based off a smaller starting base, a very conservative measurement for hex, it should have been a price of 20 cents, look, it still went to 50. Two and a half hex, two and a half times higher than what your user count said you should have been. And you might say, hey, that might to do that might have to do with pulse chain and pulse X. Okay? That, that you might throw that in as well. That's why it's not an exact science, man. It's not an exact science, but at least you have an idea. If you take one thing from this video, it's this, man. It's this, right? When you see a forecast in your mind of like, man, if Shiba Inu can get to 1.2 million users, holders, right, <laughs> users, you don't even use the coin for anything, right? If Shiba Inu can get to 1.2 million, then we should be able to get to 1.2 million, right? We should. And yeah, that's, that's big, man. That's big, if we can get that, right? You go 10 times 10, that's big, right? 10 times 10 is 100x. 100x your price, right? Of 12, if you think 12 cents is your fair value, you get 12 bucks. But if you just take the market price of today, 100x times 0 0.025, you get $2.50, right? I know these numbers are a big ranges, but that's all you got to think about, man. You think, okay, if we're going to keep growing and crypto is only 5% of the world and we have such a huge amount of people going to come in, then really the best is ahead of us. They are. But this is not an automatic everyone's going to win type of message because you need to cater your marketing to the new people coming in. Remember, the new people coming in in the next wave did not respond to Bitcoin 2012 Satoshi decentralization. They did not respond to Litecoin, shitcoin casino. They did not respond to 2016 and 17, the ICO mania of like deep brain chain and all the EVMs, um, all the ERC20s launching on Ethereum. They did not respond to that. They did not respond in 2019 to the plus token yield Ponzi. <laughs> they did not respond to 2020 where DeFi came in. They did not respond to that. They didn't care about that. They didn't even care about gaming in 2021, Dogecoin in 2021, Metaverse, NFTs. So I need you to grasp that with me. They did not care about any of those. So the next people coming in, they're going to have to care about something. We don't know what that is. And let's hope that the coins we hold are able to cater to that marketing message. Until next time, friends.